Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Pokemon Reborn. Now, in the last episode, we did some shit. In this episode, we're gonna do more shit. No, we beat the gym leader last time. Um, yeah, so now we can get our lads up to like 40 or something, so that's nice. Uh, we're kind of crippled at the moment, but it's fine. Uh, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. I got very lost in the puzzle. Oh, hey, done already. Don't just immediately get distracted. Meditation is about maintaining focus even when something happens in the environment around you. Sure, sure. Well, it doesn't matter now. We may as well talk. I take it you won then? Congratulations. I've been teaching Cal some basic techniques for maintaining composure. Seems like a lot of, of people get frustrated around you. <laughs> Excuse me? I believe I was called for. In service to the gym leader, is she present? So sorry, were you looking for me? You're the, uh, the, um... Dr. Sigmund Connell, at your, at your beckon. I specialize in children's services and mental health. Do you know why I'm here today? Um, because, because I wasn't feeling so, so great earlier. There was, um, she saw things I could, she didn't have to see. And then to top it all off, some ig enormous jerk-off challenger came in here all, all, and all but spit in her face. I see. I suppose you two her, are her parents. <laughs> What, what, he and, as if, you go guardians then? So, sir, if you will, I'm here with my, the signed consent of my parents. They live abroad and my brother too. The expenses are taken care of via league salary and um, so it's just, it's just, it's um, it's just me. Oh my God, I can't keep talking with a stutter. It's gonna bring back my stutter from when I was younger. Um, but in, but in good legal and financial standing, to be independent at such an age is truly impressive. Impressive, thank you, sir. It was, it was the same for my brother, so I wanted I wanted to challenge myself to be like him. And then your relationship is just a concerned friend. Just look, just focus on her, will you? It appears to be a peculiar friendship. Cal and I met through the league. We got along and talked a lot because, well, because he's like me. In what sense exactly? It was the same with his brother. I don't know, I wonder who his brother is. Interesting. In both our cases, it was our reason for entering the league. It was stupid, and I already stepped out of that at a while ago. Ah, uh, yes, Cal Whittaker, was it? Your successor is a client of mine. I recall hearing about the circumstances before your rec resignation. I admit I was quite bemused to hear that a fight up gym would lose to a team full of ice types like that. Damn! Bro got fucking shit on. Hey, shut up. Also, is this Flannery's younger brother or something? For what purpose, I wonder. Do you live in denial to yourself about the incident, or are you simply embarrassed to admit failures in front of present company? How about you stop fucking running your mouth and shit about shit you don't understand, chump, Cal? It was merely a question of curiosity. After all, I find it prudent to consider the precipitating factors in pros prospective clients' immediate and social environment. For instance, in intent, extending exposure to individuals who are quick to anger could easily explain a timid deposition, deposition. What the fuck are you trying to say? It is paradoxical, in fact. The girl claims to have bonded with you over your relationship with your prospective brothers, and yet the very mention of him appears to serve as a trigger to aggression for you. Stop trying to fucking psychoanalyze me, asshole. You're here for her. K Kyle, it's... What the fuck do you... In what the fuck do you know about adults anyway? Aren't you a pediatrician? I am a psychiatrist with a focus in develop developmental psychology. But you only work with children, right? At the moment, I'm not entirely convinced that you aren't one. The fuck did you just say? But please, Cal, maybe this is a good time for us to try. I don't wanna hear it. This chump thinks he can just bust in here and act like he knows us all better than we know ourselves. I was requested to come. Some fucking doctor. Cal, please, he was just trying to understand. Understand what, exactly? That we... E, that we bother, both just want to be seen and loved by our brothers. Like hell I do. Did you just smack her? Wait. No, I'm... I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. Step away from the girl, Mr. Whitaker. Mr. Whitaker? Last time I heard that was... Was... I'm going... Jesus Christ! Young lady, are you hurt? Um, not, not really. It was just a shove and the couch was soft. He didn't mean to. You do not have to minimize or make excuses for him. It was my fault for getting too close anyway. Leave us. 
extraneous company he has done enough harm for the one moment Sh sure let's go viper i don't trust him but jesus cow chill bro hey oh uh, hey that was fucking awful of me i know i said i wouldn't be like him and yet i never wanted to hurt her why the fuck did i hey just leave me alone someone like me doesn't deserve to be treated with kindness i don't think that's gonna help there's nothing to help i fucked up and i can't take it back that's that the best thing I can do now is just go away. What if I told you there was a place you could go far away from here? Where you could learn to control your emotions? Where? Have you heard of Apophil Academy? No. <clears throat> it's just across Azarin Lake. Actually, it's where I live. Our sensei Kiki would be able to help you, no doubt about it. I can take you there if you'd like. You think you can help someone like me? I think it would be a mistake not to try. Valid, third point. Fine, lead the way. With pleasure. Jesus Christ. Mm. Sorry for the... Uh, did something happen? Oh, you got your gym badge, congrats. Is Shelly holding up? I was hoping to face her too, but I understand if she needs more time. Hey, would you be up for a match? I'd love to feel your strength for myself. Just to see how I measure up before I go challenging her, I mean. Besides, I doc saw a doctor go in there. It'll be a good way to pass the time until she's ready. Let me heal your team and then talk to me when you're up for it. Well, fuck. All right, Kane. Uh, what have you got for me, motherfucker? I forgot what your team is like. Um, eh, fuck it. We'll just keep leading like this. Why not? All right. Let's go, bitch. Pretty boy, Kane. Rione. Ah, uh, this is a fun lead. Not exactly what I would have wanted, but it's fine. Sing. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Bubble bean. We should do a fairly good job eating this. Um, well, it crits, so. Oh, and at lowest speed, so. Fuck up and kill it. <laughs> Nido King. It's time to dig, 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 dig. Wait, do we even have a ground time move? Yeah, we have a ground time move. We're gonna eat this thrash. Mag today. That's totally a one shot, surely, right? Oh man, we missed it. We missed the one shot. Shut up, phone. Marowak. Oh. Well then. Can we have crunch on this still? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. And the mess, lovely to see. Hey, quick claw clutch. Didn't we ask me it anyway? Oh well. I wonder if this is gonna be a low one or not. Tis indeed. Who's in fang? Ow, why did that do f so much damage, man? wasn't too bad get fucked Kane you know how to handle me god damn it well I can see how you beat her hey <laughs> but man how do you get so strong like that wait hold on Heather oh it's you two I saw Shelly called me a while ago but what are you doing here 
Uh, actually, I was looking for you. I heard you ran away. I know that isn't easy to deal with, having a thing to fend for yourself all alone, especially in a big city like this. I know what it's like too. So I wanted to make sure you're all right. What? It's not like it's, it's not like it's hard. Who needs parents anyway? All they do is tell you a bunch of stupid things you're not supposed to do, like they know any better. Excuse me, but if I heard correctly, you have separated from your legal guardian? Who the heck are you? It's none of your business, old man. Actually, it's exactly my business. You see, I run a service for the children of Reborn. I give homes to those who have none. Food, shelter, and even many friends, just like yourself. Does that sound nice to you? Heather, was it? For someone who was listening in, you sure don't listen very well. I, like I said, I don't need any of that. I'm fine all by myself. To be perfectly fair, she has a fucking salamance and is an elite form member. I think she's fine. There's no need to be so rude. I'm offering you a home. Everything you could need to stay safe and get your life on track. Why do you resist? Because you're a creep. No girl would ever want to be around you. Indeed? Well, I would say that you leave me little option. However, if it is you who doesn't have a choice. Hey, geezer, how about you lay off the girl? Excuse me, I'm not a geezer. I'm a doctor. I've worked many hours for that title and I expect to be addressed appropriately in my intern. What's... What's he got off his butt? Fine then. I'll have the girl, Dr. Geezer. That this is part of the job I do not like. Under Article 4, Section 9, Clause 3, I'm responsible for care of custody of any vagrant child in the city of reform. Under Article 7, Section 2, Clause 2, I am granted the authority to adopt into, a cust into custody any discovered vagrant child within city limits. Provided he or she does not have legal guardian willing to... Uh, uh, Willing or able to claim custody of them, or equivalent legitimized documentation of emancipation. Forget that, I'm out of here. Salamence, it's, I think not, Chad. Hey, ow, that hurts. Hey, let her go, I suggest you not interfere. Physical interruption and to city, to standard city procedures can and, will be as, can and will qualify as personal assault, delinquency, and obstruction of justice, and thereby, therefore result, and thusly result in a criminal record and lawsuit against your name. Do have a good day. What the fuck? Let go of me. Hey, let me go. Hey, 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 what the fuck? Yeah, that. Um, that wasn't just Heather now, was it? Was it really? Yeah, he's forcibly. Yeah, he's forcibly taking her into custody or something. But what? He can't do that. He can't do that, can he? Well, with what happened to her dad. Oh no. Oh my goodness. We're not just that's gonna let this happen. What do you mean? Well, we can't just leave her in the clutches of Dr. Butt. <laughs> nice one. But if we don't, if we do anything, we'll get in, w won't we get in trouble? Yeah, you're right. Well, we could maybe be arrested, maybe put in jail, big trouble. But Heather's already in trouble, so I'm going to take that chance. The law doesn't know what's best for her. I believe her when she said she's doing fine on her own. Living day to day is hard, but it's not hard as hard as people make it out to be. Not when you've got good friends around. And she made it pretty clear she doesn't want to be there. Um, so she has to deal and suck it up just because a few legal documents and some old guy say so? I don't think so. He dragged her in there all ki Yeah, all kicking and screaming. He we can pull her out. Viper, Viper, are you with me? Fuck yeah. I knew you'd say it, see it my way. Okay, let's do it. Huh, you're coming too? Yeah. Um, if that's okay. Well, none of this is okay depending on who you ask. But I'm happy to have you. The more the merrier. She's my friend, and I was the one who called her here, and the doctor only came here for me, so it's my fault that this even happened. So, um, well, we'll do our best to make it right, maybe. You got it. Let's not keep her waiting. Right. Jesus Christ. Um, let's go heal real quick, shall we? What's up, guys? Um, hmm. I'm gonna pause the recording real quick. Um, okay, so I'm gonna actually just make this a shorter episode. Uh, sorry for anyone who cares. This is due to the fact that after a mild amount of Googling, apparently the rescuing other section is like a whole 25, 30 minute thing. And I don't really want to have this be a, like a whole 45 minute episode. So for the sake of keeping that all do it together and just having a rescue Heather episode, I'm gonna just leave it here. Um, it's kind of an uneventful episode. Next episode should be a bit more entertaining, but uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.